a particle located at x is equal to zero at time t is equal to zero starts moving along the positive x direction with velocity v that varies as v is equal to alpha root x. The displacement of the particle varies with time s. So what's given here is v is proportional to sorry uh, not proportional to v is equal to alpha into root x is what the question says equal to alpha root x now the location is x equal to 0 and the time instant is t is equal to 0 all right so we know that velocity right velocity is d by dt of x right so if you make use of that equation here so we have d by dt of x is equal to alpha into root x so now what i'll do is i'll write root x on the lhs and i'll bring dt towards the rhs now let's see d by dt of t square okay let me write d by dx so that things will become more clear so d by dx of x square is equal to or since the first video i'll explain the very basic so d by dx of x raised to n is equal to n into x to the power n minus 1 so this is the fundamental formula okay now using this formula we can write that d by dx of x to the power 2 is equal to 2 into x to the power 2 minus 1 which is equal to 2x let me add one more example so d by dx of x to the power 3 is equal to 3 into x to the power 3 minus 1 which is equal to 3 into x square now what is root x in terms of exponent say root x is basically equal to the x to the power 1 by 2 okay so we can write that d by dx of x to the power 1 by 2 is equal to 1 by 2 into x raised to 1 by 2 minus 1 which is equal to 1 by 2 into x to the power minus 1 by 2 now see x raised to n is equal to 1 by x raised to minus n another example x raised to minus n is equal to 1 by x raised to n so if you bring this logic here what is this 1 by 2 into x raised to minus 1 by 2 is x raised to 1 by 2 and what is x raised to 1 by 2 it is root x so this becomes 1 by 2 into 1 by root x which means d by dx of root x is equal to 1 by 2 root x so in order to solve this question what i'll do is i'll multiply i'll multiply this whole equation by 1 and i'll write 1 as 2 by 2 into dx by root x is equal to alpha dt so what do we get here i'll write two separately so right i'll write i'll write this two separately into one by two and then dx by root x is equal to alpha dt now what we can do is we can integrate on both sides so what we get is two into integral of one by two root c if d by dx of root x is one by two root x what is integral of 1 by 2 root x dx is equal to it will be equal to root x so this whole lhs becomes 2 into root x is equal to alpha into c d by dt of t is equal to 1 implies integral of 1 dt is equal to t so this will become alpha into t therefore we get the relation as 2 root x is equal to alpha t and it is this relation what we call as the call as the position time 
relation. So let us express this in terms of x rather than root x. So if if root x is proportional to t from this equation, if we can square on both sides, so this becomes root x the whole square is proportional to t square. What is root x the whole square? It is root x into root x is proportional to t square. So root x and root x is x. So x is proportional to t square, which means the correct option is t to the power 2, option B.